Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today I have a thrift haul for you, but first I want to show you the place that I went to get all of these items. Uh, I have been to, I think they call it the largest flea market in Maine, it's called The Willows, and it's about, oh, 45 minutes from me, I think. And um, so my sister and I went over there yesterday and I picked up a few things. We had a lot of fun. The place is huge. It's three floors in a great big long barn. And the they have like a separate building that they built with more booths in it. And so these are mostly are all vendors that have little 10 by 10 booths or whatever um, and beautiful stuff. So I'm gonna just show you a little bit of what I saw and what we found. And then when we come back, I will show you what I picked up. And I'm also, I think I'm also gonna show you what I have on my Etsy shop. I've added some new items on my Etsy shop and I've been selling a few of the things. And then I'm gonna add these candles on there. I'm working on them right now. These are grubby candles. These are three by three, so three inches tall three inches wide, I believe, or maybe four by four. Got to measure. I'm working on grubbing them all right now. So, so this should be a lot of fun to put on my in my Etsy shop. Uh, some of them are going to be not timer candles, and then some of them will have a timer with the remote control so that you can set it how you want. So that's going to be a lot of fun to go along with the rest of my grubby candles that I have for sale. So let's get showing you the awesome place that I found. Only four seventy five too. That'd be great on a plate.
talk of the chicken. That's a cool bean pot. That's even got a lid. Wow, they don't normally have a lid on them. Let's see what it costs. Oh, it's got a chip in it. Fifteen. Jars, twelve dollars, twelve fifty, seven fifty. That one's very blue. That's so cool. I'd, I'd display it like this. Put stuff in it. This thing. It's a mold, so you're supposed to put it. So it's got grapes on the bottom. Yeah. But I like it like that, and I'd put like greenery in it or something. I really like it. Oh, look at this thing, Kay. It looks like it's been shot. It, it has been shot. That's what it looks like. Pierced. It just says pierced. $395. That guy. Woo. That one's cool. Oh, this is a this is a cool item too. 85 only 85. Hopper jug. Copper jug. Ninety five for this little spice guy. Twelve ninety five. Cute. Here's a little juicer. Cute. Spongeware. Sheep spongeware. This got $4.75. That's cute. Oh, that's like something my mother would like. It's blue. Big enough for me. I need a bigger one.
Okay, that place was really fun. We had a lot of fun going through there and it's huge. So it takes hours and it's exhausting, but lots of fun, always fun thrifting. So uh, the one or the few things that I bought, just got a few things, but I think they're great things. So uh, one thing is this box. Don't know the prices because they take the tags off, so I don't remember. Um, they weren't very much, m most of them. So uh, I got this box and I've already started working on it because I have a co uh, collab coming up on the 16th of this month of February. And I'm, it's the last thing you thrift is what it's called. And so I'm working on the last things that I thrifted. So I have some from last time I thrifted and a few from this time because I didn't have many to start with. But anyway, so I've already started. So the inside, it's like a knife holder and I've already started ripping it apart because I'm gonna do something with this. So um, I got that. I got this really cool primitive star. Now I'll probably take, make a template of this star so that I can make it again, like the shape and then it's got this really cool hanger on it. Somebody just took a, a piece of dowel or whatever and stuck it on there. And this was $5.99. Could have been on sale. I got a few things that were 50% off. Some things that were 25% off. Don't know what this was on sale for. But it has a sticker on the back. So $5.99. And then I got this cute little egg basket. Super, super cute. Couple dollars probably. I got these pit berries. This one does have the tag on. This is $9.95. And um, this is a nice full bunch of pit berries and it's got the really cool rusty stars all around it. So I grabbed that one too. So I always pick up those when I find them for a good deal. I got this really cool egg basket nice and sturdy I mean this is one sturdy egg basket so I love that black color I got this uh, rolling pin this was five dollars with the nice black handles on it and I've sold all my rolling pins in my booth and I have uh, this one and I think I have two more downstairs Oh, maybe up here. Not sure. But anyway, I have some that I can uh, add in there. I'm going to have to. Got this grater. I always like these. This was, I think this is only like $5. Uh, most of the ones that I saw, as you saw in the video, were a lot more than that. But they were a lot bigger, too. And a lot rustier, older looking, which makes it more desirable, makes, makes it more uh, expensive. So... Um, yeah, I think this was around five, but I can I can rusty this up. Like putting these on boards and then you stick some flowers or some greenery, some pit berries, something in the top there, and it just looks really cool. So I grab that. I loved the coloring of this basket and it's just so different. I love the dark rich brown on it. And then it opens up like this. And I wasn't quite sure what it was, if it was a sewing basket or what it was, but um, it could be used as a sewing basket, but I came home and put a roll of paper towel, toilet paper in there, and they fit perfectly. So I think it's just for the back of your toilet for toilet paper. So I just cut a piece of homespun material and I'm going to wrap it around because I'm not going to do anything to this. I'm not going to paint it. It's already perfect the way it is. And I could just leave it without putting any ties on it. I'm just gonna tie it with a bow here just to get it to stick on there and you can see what I'm talking about. But I'm just gonna add homespun material on it like this and then you can see what it looks like with that on there. I think it dresses it up pretty cute. So we're gonna keep that like that. I got this cute little candle holder. This can hang on the wall, it's got a hole in it or it can set uh, it's got a flat bottom so it can set on the counter um, or on a stand and then you put your little candle in here and I really like that one. I think I'll just be able to clean this up just because it's really kind of dirty but I think I'll be able to clean it up and I think I'll scuff up the edges and distress it some and maybe seal it 
and then it will be all ready to decorate. I don't think I'll have to do too much to this one. I uh, got this little metal handle for a dollar. It was just sitting randomly on something. And so it was a dollar. Grabbed that up. It's one of those cup, cup hook handles. I always like to grab those for different things. I got this basket. This is a gathering basket. I think this was around $8, which is a great buy for a great big basket like this. So, and I love buying these baskets. Now this one, I think I'm just gonna leave the way it is and probably uh, put a little vignette display in it of some sort. And then if somebody wants to buy it out of my booth, they can. Uh, so I have that. And I got these doilies. I got three of them. This one's a nice long runner doily. And this was $3. I think these were all $3. And then this one is really pretty. It's got like a, a house or a cabin with a tree, a couple trees on either side. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that was $3. And this one is um, just a regular doily with the little circles and it's a different color, a little darker, like a khaki color. So I got those, I think that $3 for that. I got this bundle of um, the embroidery circles, but these have the backs on them. Never seen them with, with the middles in them, uh, but it still has the little tops and stuff on there. So I grabbed it because I thought I could definitely stamp or decoupage or something in the middle of this. These, and there was six of them, and I think they were $5 for the bundle. They were all tied together. So um, definitely a good deal. And if I get these all done up, they I know they had a box under the table with more. So um, I can go back and grab some more of those. And I grabbed this basket. This one is just a display basket. And it was great condition until I picked it up. And I can't see it now, so maybe it's not as bad. But anyway, I stuck my finger through one of the little slats and broke it a little bit. So, mm. but I, I think it'll be all right. I mean, it's still usable. It's just a wall decor piece. It's not really, or you could set it on your table, but um, I can't, oh, there it is right there. It's just a little, little piece. So I think I can glue that down and it'll be fine. Nobody will know the better. But you put, uh, usually typically put a greenery in the middle or a pit berry ring or, something like that, and you can lay it flat on your table and add a nice display, or you can hang it on your wall and do the same. You can have a nice greenery ring on there, uh, or a sign, a little welcome sign or farmhouse sign. I think I may keep this, this color. I think, um, I think this was $8 as well. So yeah, this, um, this is a pretty good buy. They usually go for a lot more money than that, so. I really like that. And that's all I picked up at the flea market. Um, but I think I did good. I think I got a lot of good stuff. I'm happy with it. And I've started working on uh, my next uh, video, which is the last um, items flip, uh, thrifted. So that, that box is going to go in that video as long as I can get the middle out of it the way I want to. Um, and next I want to show you what I have on my Etsy shop. I have a couple new things and I wanted to just show you what I have on there so that you guys will get an idea and you can go check it out if you want to. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some of my items that I have on my Etsy shop that are new that I just put up probably, I think it was last week. Um, I added my eggs that I did on a video not too long ago, a few videos ago. Those have all sold out, uh, but I have some prim stuff here that it would be really cute and I I wish I could say that I had enough time to do these myself but my friend Chris does these uh, she is a wonderful seamstress she does a beautiful job and she's very creative and so I buy a lot of the things from her and then I share them with you on my Etsy shop so they are handmade, homemade, uh, but not by me. 
unfortunately. So uh, this is a little pillow with a saying on it. It's uh, grow old with me, the best is yet to be. Very prim little pillow, little bowl filler. It's a great uh, little piece for a vignette. Very nice. Put that there. I had this cute little purple bunny that Chris made as well. It, she does put little hangers on the back just in case you want to hang them up. It's got a cute little uh, fluffy tail. And then it's got a little pocket in the front for some greens or flowers. She made this really cute little star pillow with the little black sheep and the little tree and a star. And then it's got these little rusty bells on each corner. Very cute. And then uh, this cat one, it says, in a perfect world, every home would have a cat and every cat would have a home. And it's got a little jingle bell on it. So very cute. All done with homespun material, different, uh, you know, different colors and shades. I just sold one of these the other day. This is a little carrot bunch. You get five carrots with the greens all together. So, and these are really cute. I love the, the uh, carrot color, the orangey color for the carrots. Um, these stars, I thought I had a different one. Let's see, that one's got the sun on it. So anyway, I got stars with these really cool, it's almost like grain sack material, like um, uh, uh, ads, like grain sack ads, I guess I wanna say. It's not material, it's just regular material, but the ads on it is like a grain sack. I should say, I'm not sure if I'm getting across very well, but um, very cute. There's more close up pictures and better pictures of them. Again, she's got little hangers on the back that she puts on uh, if you wanna hang them. Uh, these would go great in a basket. I'm trying to figure out what did I do with my, you know, if you've got a basket like this, you could hang it in there like so. Um, so I have a few of these on there that she did up. So these are great for all year long, anytime. Um, and then she also did these little blocks of wood. So gather, and they've got the greenery and the little bow. She used um, popsicle sticks for the tops. Again, added some nails with a hanger on the back. So if you wanted to hang these up, but they will sit flat on a, on a table or a counter or whatever. Um, but I think these are very cute and primitive, very cute. So I've got these on there as well. So uh, those are the new things that I have on my Etsy shop. I am slowly working on uh, a website so that I can put whatever I want on the website. If I wanna put out free printables or anything like that, I can. I can't do that on Etsy, I have to charge on Etsy. Uh, and the, the, you know, and sometimes I like to give away free things like free templates that I have for my crows or things like that. And I can't, I'm kind of, uh, with Etsy, it, it's done me very well. Um, but it's very difficult to just be myself with it. So I apologize for the noise. If you hear it, my husband's working on our generator, changing the oil and stuff. So hopefully you can't hear it, but Anyway, I'm about done anyway. Um, I, this is what I got at the, when we went thrift, when I went thrifting with my sister. Um, and then all the stuff on my Etsy shop. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, February 16th, 2024, at 6 p.m. Eastern, we will, I will have a collaboration video out with a few other uh, YouTubers. So we will have, um, some really great inspiring ideas for you on there and I've started on a lot of my projects and hopefully this box I will get it done because the inside taking it apart is being a stinker so anyway we will see you on the next episode of repurpose my way see you later oh and if you like this video check out this next one I'm sure you'll find it inspiring <laughs>